to the best of your knowledge, is he now a free agent that you could be, your people could be talking to? Well, you know, I don't know. Uh, uh, to be very honest about you, uh, I haven't, you know, really uh, examined uh, if he's committed to everybody. He says he's a free agent as far as networks are concerned, which would give him the benefit of ESPN. Uh, you know, he has a manager, uh, Shelly Finkel, uh, who uh, I assume has papers on him, but I don't know. And as far as Al Heyman is concerned, he is, uh, quote, advisor, close quote, whatever the hell that means. <laughs> uh, I mean, that's not a term that we've ever used in boxing. So I think it may very well be that Wilder is a free agent. But do I know that for a fact? No. That was um, G. Cooney and the Kamish. They have a, a podcast. And basically, um, there's one of those shows that doesn't get really a lot of like viewership, I guess, from like uh, like younger boxer fans. But they always have some good guests on there. So here's another one we're going to listen to. So you got you can actually go listen to the free one on their um the full interview on on their page. But here's here's this video about basically Tyson Fury has signed a 80 million pounds, 100 million dollar deal. And people are like, man, why would you do that? You fucked up the rematch. Yo, you got to secure the bag. Deontay Wilder now got to secure the bag. And right now, if Heyman can't give him $32 million a fight or can't give him $100 million, you know, and listen, Tyson Fury would not have gotten that money if Deontay Wilder didn't almost kill him, right? It's weird how that worked. Maybe something was in, it was weird. It's weird how that works. His marketability has went through the roof after that. Deontay Wilder, he's saying he's a free agent. Showtime, 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 Showtime. Right now, Showtime is number one, but top rank is on their ass. ESPN is on their ass. And the thing is, ESPN is a sports network. They want like to monopolize all sports. They want boxing. They got mixed martial arts. What they got UFC? They have a budget of ninety million dollars a year or something like that to put on boxing. That's not excluding like the exclusive contracts that come from the promoters. Let's listen to this one. Please subscribe on T Street Controversy. This is T Street Controversy Live. Uh, we're gonna go oh, right sure. here. Deal with you and the big news is Tyson Fury announced he signed a co-promotional deal with you and Frank Warren. What does this do to the planned rematch between him and uh, Wilder? Well, it's not going to destroy the rematch, you know. I mean, you know, we can only talk for, for Tyson Fury now. Uh, so if the rematch happens, if they come to the table, that's fine. Uh, they all should be jumping up and down uh, uh, the wild, uh, wild, because now the biggest megaphone in sports will be backing uh, that fight. Uh, they'll get wall-to-wall -wall coverage not for two days before the fight, but for weeks before the fight. Uh, and that's going to drive buys and make these guys a lot of money. So it's a real plus for Tyson Fury and for Wilder. And if Wilder doesn't come to the table, uh, Tyson Fury is going to be one of the our major faces on ESPN+. Plus. Uh, he is, for me... Uh, uh, almost like uh, uh, going back to when uh, George Foreman started his comeback. Uh, and George, in, in addition to being a very, very good fighter uh, at that point, was entertaining and exciting. Uh, and he built a tremendous brand for himself. And uh, we think Tyson Fury will do the same thing. I mean, he's a very funny guy. Uh, he doesn't take uh, anything outside the ring very seriously. Uh, he's going to make people laugh and have a good time. And he's very exciting in the ring. Yeah. So what happens next? The rematch, right? You know, 
it's all on Deontay Wilder. He said he has no network. And why would he not go to ESPN? You know, even if it's just for a one fight deal, why can't Al Heyman and Bob Aaron work together? Why can't all of them work together? Shelly Finkel says he's ready to make the fight, right? To his news outlet that he uses, World Boxing News. It's no reason why these fighters should be turned. They better take this money now. And boxing has the biggest budget it has ever had on bro in broadcasting from apps to everywhere. $400 million plus a year. Secure the bags, fighters. Secure the bags. Secure them. If it's don't wait until later, get the money. The thing is, they can't let, they got to be sure to say, hey, listen, if I take this money, I, it can't limit me from fighting the people I want to fight, especially if it's like, you know, I'm going to deal with fucking media scrutiny and shit. Anthony Joshua can fight on ESPN. Who would be, you know, it depends on if, you know, who offers more money. The market, the landscape, you know, it's not just about having the money anymore. You got to have the assets. You got to have the fighters. And right now, these fighters got to be here like Deontay Wilder. Damn, there's only about to give Golovkin 40 fucking million dollars or some shit. How much were they giving him? I forgot. Big Baby Miller getting his 6.5. I could have got more than that. I'm not now. I'm not getting into the whole narrative of who should assign what contracts when. I'm just saying there's too much money floating around in boxing for a guy like Deontay Wilder, for whoever his management team is to say, hey, listen, let's get you one of these $100 million deals. Let's get you one of these $100 million deals. He's gotten better on the microphone, even if he, you know, people say he'd be faking or making words up and shit still. Nonetheless, if Tyson Fury, a guy who he damn near killed in the ring, is getting $100 million, and yes, he's much more charismatic, you know, you know, a bigger sell than, than, than Wilder. He can stop been saying it for years and years and years when I've been covering Fury. Fucking fighting Joey Abel and way before that. I was like, yo, he'll be a fucking star in the States with the way he talk and carry himself. And the fact that he's crossed over into the pay-per-view market, he's known now for being a guy that, oh, yeah, the, 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 the Irish motherfucking, the tall Irish fat dude that got knocked out and got back up. He was whooping him out the ass. That was like in pop, it's in pop culture now. You see what I'm saying? So for him to be with ESPN, that's a power move. You can't be mad at him. But yeah, people saying it's a duck. It makes no sense to me whatsoever for him. Like he had to take the money. He had to, what? Why would he not, like, why would he not take the money? And then it's not like, you know, um, the purse bid and all that was being postponed. We don't know what's going to happen with the purse bid. They still have time to get this fight done. It still could happen in the Barclays Center. But now that Tyson Fury is with top rank and, you know, co-promoted with Frank Warren, of course, well, Frank Warren co-promoted with top rank, but they have that big ESPN, you know, who's owned by Disney backing. And I'm wondering, like, are they exclusively putting them on ESPN Plus for... I'm confused about that. I'm confused about that. Like, will he see primetime ESPN? Or will he... Or is the money coming from ESPN Plus budget to build up ESPN, you know, bigger? Especially since you're going to be putting him with like maybe 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 they would like um promote his fights around like soccer games and shit for those demographics of where the americanized irish travelers going to be watching their sports over here in the states i know that probably doesn't make sense but i think they're probably going to put his programming around that type of programming or at least they should hmm But they would do uh, Wilder versus Fury on e on um, ESPN Plus. I mean, um, ESPN Pay Per View to make sure they maximize profit. Also, this Friday, right now it is um, twelve oh four p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Wednesday, February the twelfth, twenty nineteen. This Friday on um, ESPN on Maximum Boxing, Max Kellerman's new show is the third episode. If I believe he's going to have Anthony Joshua. I'm Teacher Controversy. This is Teacher Controversy Live. Please subscribe.